I trained my neck for 30 days and this is what happened. See, I suffer from chronic headaches, and when I get them, I can't do anything. They take me out for the entire day or more. And it makes it very difficult for me to get my work done considering I work at a computer all day. So it affects me tremendously. So when I found this video talking about how training your neck can help reduce headaches, fewer headaches, I needed to try that for myself immediately. So I set out on a 30 day journey to train a muscle group that I'd never thought of training before. And some of the other benefits that came with it were quite interesting. And in today's modern age of hunched over shoulders, sitting at a desk, or looking at our phone, it could be the cure. That was definitely unique. My muscles in here, like, I could feel them like popping and like getting worked out for the first time pretty much ever. And it kind of felt good. Like for some reason, like now my neck feels stronger. My head feels a little bit lighter. I try not to overdo it so that way we can like do it again tomorrow or the next day and we're not like so sore but this might be really cool i'll have to see how this does if it helps reduce my headaches dude i will do this every single day i might do these every single day anyways if they don't yeah my neck feels like incredible right now and it's gotta it's gotta be good for you right this is my first day ever doing it so like trying some of these exercises, I know that I wasn't doing it right. I gotta go home tonight and like look at how to do these correctly. Like some of them I'm like, all right, I don't, I don't feel it on this side. And then I was like, oh, oh, I really feel it on this side. So gotta figure out how to do all those. Those headstands, oh my gosh. How Mike Tyson could just like roll like this is beyond me. Like I was like barely able to go straight back. And my dude, I was like, oh. I was like grunting the entire time and he was just like la 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 rolling around like it was nothing. That's probably why he had like a 21 inch neck. This is untapped potential right here. Anyways, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. Maybe my neck will be like in a brace because I overdid it. My neck was so sore the next day from working it out for the first time that I took a day off and trained it the following day. I found that going onto a bench was much easier to get full range of motion and that a 10 pound plate was perfect for me. Depending on what way I was moving my neck, I was stronger than others. So I would sometimes make it harder by forcing my hand down on the plate or lifting the weight up a little bit if it was too heavy. This allowed me to work out the full range of motion with the perfect amount of tension. At the end of my three sets, I did a little bit of stretching and mobility because my neck felt so tight and I wanted to make sure it didn't cramp, which actually ended up happening later in the challenge, which was not fun at all. To finish day three off, I did my backwards and forwards neck rolls, but they didn't feel too good. I was putting so much pressure on my neck and head and I wasn't sure if this is actually good for my body or not. So before I trained my neck the next time, I needed to go do some research. All right, so headstands are out. So I've been doing some study on neck training and I recently found that headstands are actually like very dangerous for your spine and can cause bone spurts. So instead of that, I'm going to be doing this, this neck posture exercise that I got from Brian Johnson. So. There's two things that we gotta do. And the first is this. I'm gonna get some little weights right here. We're not gonna move our wrists. We're just gonna move our shoulders forward and up. This is working around like this region that helps us hold our shoulders like upright so we're not like slouching forward so much. And then the next one is like a little exercise like this. So we're gonna put hands on the forehead and we're just gonna push upwards a little bit. You don't want to go too much pressure, just a little bit. So this is what it looks like from the side. And this is to help from like all those times when you're on your phone, like looking down like this, just forcing yourself to push that neck back up. So on the days that we're not doing the like the six way neck in the gym, we're gonna be doing these posture exercises. Now you're not meant to feel these ones like terribly. What they're made to do is just help you over time just remember that that's the posture that you should be in. Like the third thing that he talks about is having a string like coming out of the top of your head so you're always thinking that you're being pulled up by a string so that way you have better posture. And for somebody like me who works at a desk or is always slouched over like on the phone or computer, like these are good exercises for me. 30 minutes before my workout, I could tell that a headache was coming on. So I was kind of interested to see how the neck training went with it. I taped my mouth cause we're like, we're doing seven days where I taped my mouth during a workout. Not a great idea for this. The lack of oxygen and I didn't drink any water because of it did not bode well together. My head right now 
is like starting to get a headache be just because of the lack of oxygen i can feel like all this pressure from only breathing in my nose is like expanding my head anyways the neck exercises are going really well i actually really like them the 10 pounds is a little light so i have to like on some of them i have to like push extra hard and i gotta be careful because when i do these like rotation ones like if i get in this certain position and i just push a little bit too hard i can feel like my neck is like cracking not in a good way and i'm like i gotta be careful with that but my neck feels like a lot sturdier than usual you don't really notice how your head sits on your neck or just your neck in general and like i've noticed like whenever i move my head or i'm just moving around like my upper spine just feel stronger so we'll have to see as time goes on i don't know how much to increase like reps or weight or sets for this so we're just sticking at like three sets of 10. i mean it's pretty easy but then again we're only on our second week of doing this so we don't want to go too hard maybe i'll like add a set or i'll just like try adding a little bit of weight here and there but it's going pretty well so I was kicked out of the YMCA today and told that I cannot record there anymore. They didn't let me finish my workout either. <laughs> they escorted me out of the weight room. All right, since we got kicked out of the YMCA, I have since canceled my membership there. Today we are working out in my parents' house. Not really sure what I'm gonna do today for a workout. But we'll figure something out. By day eight, I had figured out all the movements and the best way to train them. Or so I thought. Because while I was laying on my back, doing a neck curl, I was wondering, should I be flexing my jaw to make my neck tighter? And I quickly found out the answer. No. Oh. Uh, ooh. My jaw just popped really loud. Oh. My jaw is like popping right here. It's getting stuck on something. When I was doing one of these, like I like tried to close my mouth and then I could just feel it like all tightening up. See, let me see if you can hear this. That's my jaw. Every time like I open my mouth a little bit. Oh, this has happened to me a few other times when I like chew like a lot throughout the day. I'll just like get this thing in my jaw. I don't know how to get rid of it though. Oh, not that way. Oh, I hope I don't dislocate my jaw. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> but even with my jaw popping, I wasn't gonna let that stop me from finishing my sets, but going forwards, we probably should be more careful about that. First day at my new gym. Can't wait for them to see how crazy I am with tape over my mouth. There were actually multiple days during this challenge where I forgot to do my neck exercises at the gym, and I think that's because I'm just like not used to putting them in my workout schedule. Like when I'm doing an arm day, one of the last things I'm thinking of is, oh, gotta work on my neck today. But as this challenge went on, I found that when I missed those days, I could feel that my neck wasn't how it should be and that I wanted to do those exercises. Like somehow my body instinctively knew that these were actually really good for me. So yesterday I actually did like a body composition measuring and I found that my neck is actually growing. My neck went from 14 inches to 14.2 inches. The other thing that I've noticed is I haven't had any signs of a headache coming on, which is lovely, but that also could be for some other reasons. Could also be that this week I'm walking 20,000 steps a day and I don't stare at a computer screen all day and I'm getting tons of hours every day outside walking, which is probably healthy for not getting a headache. So it could be any of these reasons, but this could also help, so we'll keep trying them and we'll see what happens. At the start of this challenge, all I wanted to do was reduce the amount of headaches I have. But by the end of this challenge, I came to find that training my neck had a bigger impact on me than I realized. Yes, it did reduce my headaches and it gave me more mental clarity throughout the day. But it also made me focus more on my posture, it made my neck feel more stable and mobile, which led to me holding myself up more physically and mentally. But most importantly, it made me contemplate what things in my life I wasn't training that could have a profound impact on it. Because for someone like me who's tried some of the craziest exercises and challenges in the pursuit of health, I've never once considered working out my neck. So the question is, what's something that you should be training?